Welcome back, it's me Lou. I'm here for another action figure unboxing and review and today will be a special double feature as we showcase the character Duke Thomas. Okay, so we have two Duke Thomas figures here. On our left, we have the DC Multiverse figure from Mattel and this is Duke Thomas as he appears in We Are Robin. And then on our right, we have the much more modern take on Duke Thomas when he's the Signal. And this is uh, also DC Multiverse, but this one's produced by uh, McFarlane Toys. Alright, so I thought it'd be fun to do a double feature um, on this character. You know, chances are if you're like, I don't want to say a casual fan, but um, I don't think uh, Duke Thomas is a character most people are familiar with unless they like, you know, read the comic books. Um, he's kind of a character that I consider, you know, part of the extended uh, Batman family. Uh, like for me personally, the core family members are always going to be, you know, Alfred, Dick, Jason, Barbara, and Damien. And then uh, I, I always consider like the extended family to be the much more, you know, modern secondary background character. I don't want to say background characters because they are important, but like, you know, characters like... Uh, you know, the Batgirls like uh, Casey and Stephanie, you know, Batwoman, uh, Huntress. You know, I kind of feel like Duke kind of falls within that arena, even though he's partnered up with uh, Bruce in the past. So this is uh, how we were first introduced to Duke Thomas. Uh, he was introduced, I think, during the New 52 era. Um, he was created by Scott Snyder and artist Greg Capullo. I think this was around 20... 14 and then during that time period he eventually transitioned into the leader of the group uh, we are robin a uh, beautiful looking figure from mattel and this was towards i think mattel's uh last few years when they had the dc property eventually they moved on to the blue uh the blue boxes if you remember that um but this was when they were doing multiverse you know they kind of went past doing the dc was it classics uh, multiverse line and it went into this and then here's duke thomas nice character portrait and a description as a child he teams up with bruce wayne to defeat the riddler and later he becomes the leader of we are robin so this is a character that predates rebirth um, i think it was more so towards the tail end maybe of the new 52 era uh, other figures in this wave included um i think this was the dick grayson Batman, we have the Reaper, Duke Thomas as we are Robin, uh, Batwing, uh, the Adam from the CW verse, and then we have the Build a Figure, which is the Jim Gordon super heavy um, armor. And then on our right here, we have the McFarlane DC Multiverse Signal Duke Thomas. Uh, this is modern age um, Duke Thomas as we see him in the comic books. He's wearing his armor. He comes with his modified uh, hatchet right here. And then he unfortunately features the worst artwork <laughs> like ever on a McFarlane um, box. I don't know what they were thinking. You know, the Signal's been around for years and he's had his own like series. And of all the images they pulled is this horrible, horrible low res image and it does it does not do the character justice at all it's like insulting uh, you know I, th I think they could have pulled a better image uh, it kind of reminds me if you've ever seen the tv show east bound and down with danny mcbride there's the one scene where he's getting on stevie's case he's like you know next time don't use the low res jpeg you know use the tiff image <laughs> so i kind of feel that's the case right here all right so let's get started and take these guys out So these are completely two different styles of action figures produced by two different companies. Uh, but since they portray, you know, the similar character, but at different stages in his life, I thought it'd be fun just to do a double feature on this. All right, so two beautiful looking action figures. As you can see, there is a major size difference. Um, 
the Mattel figures were kind of like within the six inch realm scale. Whereas the McFarlane stuff is kind of roughly one tenth seven inch scale action figures. Uh, the Mattel one comes with the extra portrait, uh, the nunchucks. Um, I think that's like a, maybe a smoke grenade. And the McFarlane one comes with the trading card, the display base, and then his uh, two pickaxes, hatchets, a scream of sticks, uh, whatever you want to call them. All right, so let's start with the We Are Robin figure first. All right, so here is Duke Thomas, leader of We Are Robin. It's a nice looking figure. It's such a unique mold, especially during the later um, era of Mattel, DC Classics, DC Multiverse action figures. You know, it's a completely unique sculpt onto the figure itself. Um, it's definitely dated, you know, in terms of like, you know, the engineering and the paint application, but I still think it's a, it's a wonderful piece. You know, it's well-crafted, cleanly sculpted, nice details. You know, it's a very like urban vigilante look. You know, this looks like a costume that's kind of cobbled together with like a motorcycle jacket. And this is cool. I dig the sneakers a lot. You know, he's, it's a fun look for the character. And when the character eventually evolves into sig into the signal, it's just kind of cool to like, you know, see this character's you know origins and his original costume. So in terms of the articulation, head moves, arms move, elbows move, uh, ab crunch, arch back, swivel at the waist. Uh, legs kick up, they kick out. It's kind of the antiquated T-bar at the hip. Uh, there's a cut above the knee, uh, single jointed knee, and I think the ankles, there's a boot cuff, but it doesn't really want to rotate. Um, overall, I think it's a great figure, and I think this might be the only action figure that interprets Duke Thomas as this character. I don't know if... Um, uh, DC collectibles slash DC direct ever did their take on Duke Thomas in this costume. I might be wrong though, but I think it's a great figure to have um, just because of the history of the character. And it's kind of cool that, you know, he eventually graduates into the signal, which we have right here. I'm going to say it right now. Uh, immediately when I took this figure out of the tray, my first thought was, even if you're unfamiliar uh, with this this character I think the figure is well worth the purchase it's a really beautiful figure um, the yellow is very striking uh, very 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 clean that's the first thing that came to my mind it's so well done uh, the presentation is amazing this is like one of those cases where they take something that's in 2d form and you know they make uh, such I don't see an improvement but there's such a different feel for the character when it's in its this physical form. You know, there's some embellishments to make the costume look like hyper detailed. You know, the, the paneling and the vent lines, it looks fantastic. This is really a wonderful piece. Uh, it'd be nice if they gave us a gold label version in the future with the alternate head and maybe different accessories. But I, I'm not sure if that'll ever happen. But for what it's worth, this figure is... It's a real standout. Very photogenic. Great shade of yellow. Um, I love the kind of like off gray uh, for the emblem. The mask looks fantastic. Really beautiful figure. Really well done. Uh, the articulation, again, you know, much like other McFarlane figures. You know, it has the ball socketed butterfly joint, which is kind of cleanly hidden underneath all the body armor. But at the same time, I don't think it allows for that much extra range of motion. Uh, double pinned elbows, articulated wrists, uh, 
kind of like an ab crunch deal going there, swivel at the waist, and a standard leg articulation. And two pins for the knees, articulated ankles and toes. So yeah, this is a very strong action figure. This is one I don't think you should sleep on. You know, like I said, even if you are unfamiliar with this character, it's worth the purchase. It's such a standout piece compared to some of the other uh, Batman family related characters, especially because of his color scheme. You know, it, it really, really this uh, really shout, you know, for lack of a better term. You know, I love the contrast with the kind of like the dark uh, grayish black with the yellow. It, it's it really, you know, just draws your eye towards it. And the detailing, you know, I can't say it enough. It's incredible and it's so clean. So yeah, we have two different versions of Duke Thomas. We are Robin and The Signal. Both w well worth the purchase. And I think, you know, well, it'll be a highlight for any uh, Batman collection. You know, great, great character. Um, you know, he's already kind of had a storied history in his, you know, short tenure. And I'm sure in years to come, the character of him will evolve to like, you know, even greater heights. All right, so with that being said, let's wrap this one up. Uh, once again, my name is Lou. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you are a returning viewer or subscriber, thank you so much for your continued support. I greatly appreciate it. So until the next video, be safe, take care of yourself, buy lots of toys, and most importantly, be happy. And I'll see you at the next one. All right, later.